Hello, everyone. I am Pyro Falcon, joined by the Akamura. Hello. And this is Earthbound. I'm going to grab some cash. Because in the last episode, we got a uh, soul here freed, and we also got the second Your Sanctuary location. But while I'm here, I figured I may as well order a large pizza anyway. As expensive as it is, it will serve as a super mega emergency item. Are we getting a Domino's? Yeah, sure. I'll well, take a double cheese. Oh, uh, God. Pizza sounds good right now. It really does. It really does. Um, all right. So we just need to get back through Happy Valley. Happy, Happy Valley. Uh, and return to Tucson. Now, there are a lot of presents that are still out here that we could grab. Oh, that's helpful, but I'm at 100%. Um, I don't think there's anything I need... So I don't really need to go out of my way right now. But, uh, if I see something, I'll grab it. I hate that tree. Yeah, right. But you have to take him last because he explodes. And therefore, you can't let that happen early in the fight. Oh, God. What the fuck <laughs> just happened? Why did it clown nose? Because he cast a spell on you, the Akamura. What the fuck? The tree has a magic spell that cast called Brain Shock. Uh... You got brain shocked by the living tree with the face and the cloud nose. Uh... It's I fun. don't want it. This is Eagle End. This is what happens around Return here. Return it to the store. I'd rather have the money. <laughs> Get back here, butterfly. Fluter, fluter. Um... Yeah, I'm. Uh, usually, I go out of my way to get all the presents. Oh shit! He moved fast. Oh fuck! Um, spinning Robo. Oh, that's some cool futuristic music. Yes. God damn it! Stop sneezing on me, soul. That's not social distancing. Oh, that was some fast bass. Yep. Um. I am right. bereft. I think I can cast. Yep. Okay. God, wouldn't that be nice in real life? just cast PSI Healing Alpha and bam, now you don't have the cold anymore. That would really go All a right. long, oh, long way to getting rid of this Malachor. Yes. Um, okay, get the Sprout out of here. Great. Alright, get the Oak out of here. I will say, now that we're really recording the episodes, this would not work in a 20 minute episode format. Yeah, see why? Yeah. Like, when, when we first discussed doing the game, I had told the Akamura that we had to go at least 30 minutes per episode. It sounded daunting, but, like, it's yeah. necessary, and it's not like I'm not enjoying it. And, right, it's necessary because of the pace of the game, because of the size of the game, and the fact there's there's just so much to talk about. Um, the standard Game Grumps episodes now are 40, and I was considering 40 for this game because of this pacing, but... I think for us, it would exhaust us, or at yeah. least you. I could handle this. Um, but, yes, I, I wanted to kind of strike the balance, and I think 30 is a good length. Because, um, yeah, if we do, if we do two, 20 minutes, then this is going to take forever. Yeah. It's already going to be a long game. I mean, we're already up to, what, episode 6 or 7 now? And, uh, you know, we're still in Tucson. I mean, there's... A half dozen towns to go, if not a dozen towns to go. All right, let's go on. Um, oh, see, this is the lower bridge. This is the south bridge. Oh, it's, it's fixed. been fixed. So that's a nice little shortcut to get you back. I am leaving a bunch of presents behind. Oh, and the music whatever. sounds a lot. No. Oh, never mind. That's the lower bridge. It uh, was sounding a little calmer, but now it's a little tense again. Yeah, this is the same song. Um, this song doesn't change when you're here. All right, come here, butterfly. Well, it also makes sense because those robots are still there. Yep. And these guys won't ever run from you. They're very strong. Blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. Thank you, sir. Oh, God. Buzz, 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 buzz. I'm an UFO. But um, in answer to one of your earlier questions, I don't know if they ever explained it in game, but Gygus's activities are making weird shit happen 
Um, it's not like Eagle Land just always has UFOs and walking mushrooms everywhere. Yeah. Um, I just... Ah, shit. I, huh? Saul's got nighttime stuffiness. She, she does. needs some NyQuil. She does. Um... If this game wanted to be realistic, they should give you NyQuil addiction. <laughs> well, I mean, again, we're dealing with walking mushrooms. I don't think realism was quite on the menu on this. You can uh, go to the hospital to get treatment, and then six months later, you'll get your, anon your Narcotics Anonymous badge. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if they ever fully explain it in the game's fiction. I'm sure they do if you talk to... Uh, enough people at the right time, but basically Gygus's influence over the planet is causing this weird shit to happen, which is also why the people, the townspeople, know that there's weird shit, but they're generally not dealing with it like you're dealing with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're just trying to go about their day. Yeah, they're just trying to live their lives and Plus, be townspeople. And it's not like they really can do much about it. Yeah. You're the chosen hero. Exactly. And they're not wandering around through the valleys and everything while this weird shit is happening anyway, so... Yep, they are social distancing like good eggs. Yes, exactly. Damn, soul. I didn't realize her guts were that high. You or know I've been what? Very lucky. Huh? This whole situation is going to leave such a footprint, especially in the information age. Like... Yes. Yeah, oh god, this game came out, like, right when the information age started. It did. Holy crap. And that's why people were able... It was right when the information age started, yeah. so the people who made Shit. the site that goes line by line really had the time to go line by line and research. I don't think the site's that old. I can't remember who runs it, but it does hmm. look... Oh god! No! Pyro! Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Um, that is that is an interesting thing about the 90s, though. Like, there wasn't so much content to consume, so it felt like you had more time. Yes. Yes, there is there is definitely a major bubble. Uh, that is ha an information bubble that is happening. God damn it. Sorry, I'm getting a little lost in my uh, my panic here. It's all good. But the cool thing about the information bubble right now is, like, the only way it's going to burst is through, like, a major cataclysmic upheaval of our society. Yes. yes. Um, I think my point was just that there's so many games and things out there that... I mean, not to get too deep into it, but that's why, like, fan bases are fractured. Because, yes. like, there's just so much of it now. Yeah, there you... are so many dead fandoms, and, like, right. back in the day Fucking when hell. you were in a fandom, you were in a fandom basically for life. Right. Like, everyone who played Final Fantasy VII the first time around is still a Final Fantasy VII fan. Right. They never stopped. But, like, Homestuck fandom's dead right now, for the most part. Yeah, Undertale just... fandom's dead right now, because Move everybody's on moved on thing. to the next thing, yeah. and there are holdouts... But, oh, like, shit. nobody ever stopped making Final Fantasy VII fanfiction. I just realized I'm probably going to get special dialogue right now. Because she should be with me at this point. Uh, is that you, Soul? Oh, I thought she would be back, but not yet. Oh, no, I'm not worried. I'll be okay. Wow. Oh. Okay, so the, the mock pizza delivery guy couldn't find me because I was inside a building. Never mind, it's Dad. You've been out there a long time now. Okay, so this comes if you haven't saved in about a half hour. You've been out there a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being a stake. I like how your parents just understand yeah. and support you. Um... Oh, Soul! Am I dreaming? I feel like she just came home. Oh, God, that hurts. All right, so yeah, you get certain specific special dialogue under certain conditions like what this. What happened to Soul? Help, Soul! Hurry, hurry! Yeah, 
Like, they wouldn't be saying this if she was alive right now. Saul? You know, I thought I saw her for a second out of the corner of my eye. Maybe I was just dreaming. And it's, like, that's what I love about this game. Another one of many things I love about this game. That, like, you you don't get these dialogues um, unless you fulfill certain very specific conditions. And fucking hell, man. Um, this way? Nope. This way? Nope. The, the, but there we go. God damn it. Um, walking on the grass. And <laughs> that poor dog. Um, he likes to sing a. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just. I don't just, even have to complete the joke now. I'm just, I'm just repeating myself and talking in circles. But I think you know what I'm trying to say here. Oh, great. $238 for a large pizza. Thanks. I don't feel robbed at all. Okay. Damn. Uh, Those DoorDash prices are insane. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hold tight. Though you may not believe it. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, my point is, like, can you imagine, like, how thin of a chance it would be to stumble on that by yourself? You know, getting that s special dialogue. You'd have to, you know, either chance upon her dying, or you'd have to intentionally induce her dying and then go talk to everybody to get the full, complete story. It's yep. ridiculous. And th this is back when games were made when this was the only thing you could do. Yep. So there's just so much content packed into the game. It is. It, there is. It's, it's ridiculous. And you will never be able to play, like... Or you'll never get the same exact experience twice. Obviously, the core story isn't going to change, but the little details in every adventure yep. make this game that much cooler. God, if they made a Final Fantasy like this, people would freak out. Yeah, the, yeah they really would. Um, even Square doesn't pack this much detail into the little things. They, they just do when focus... it comes to visuals. Right, right. But they don't in terms of dialogue. That's, that is one of the things I like about uh, Final Fantasy, though, is, like, when you look at something, you don't see all of it for the first 50 times you look at it. Yes. Yahoo! I knew it! You saved Soul. I don't really understand it, but I know the Soul's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Soul, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Oh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it hand-aid. It's a handmade band-aid. Yep. Soul's mom's an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to call her adorable, but okay. Did you meet your dad? He is ups He is sorry he suspected Mr. Everett of Berlin Park. All right, so we uh, go here. Does she give Soul essential oils? I don't know. Oh, Soul. Pyro, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world like in Soul's dream. Soul, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Pyro. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. That's, Dad, don't yeah. worry about me. Pyro and I will be able to take care of ourselves. I mean... In three, in the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. That's not now true. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Ew. Goodbye, soul. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. He's um, gonna burst into tears. <laughs> probably. He's following us around everywhere. God, this is such a nice game. Right? <laughs> your parents love you. Soul's parents love her. Yup. We have another teddy bear. Yup. I wanted to grab it from her room. Ugh, we're a little full on items now. Um, yeah, like, it's a very sweet escapist game. Um, you were telling me that off camera. I didn't want to necessarily repeat it, but, like, that you were saying if you had this, it would definitely be an escapist game for you back yep. in the day. Hello, Pyro? Everdread is looking for you. He's got something for you. Okay, bye. Is it a knuckle sandwich? Uh, whatever the opposite of that is. Yes. 
Here I'm just going to assume he's not going to harass here me. Here comes the thin blue line. Oh, God. And his doggos. <laughs> the thin blue line. <laughs> Holy crap. I shouldn't call the second episode that, but that would be a good title for it. Uh, you could call it the thick blue line because they're all stupid. <laughs> They are all stupid. Unofficial title for that episode uh, is now The Thick Blue Line. I just don't know how well that title is going to age. That's one of those things where I made, if I call it that, I'm going to look back on it in five years and go, oh, why? Why did I do that? Because they're all stupid. Hello, Mr. Everdread. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Oh, I wonder if we need that to bail out the... Yes? Why are you looking for the Mani Mani statue? I'm <laughs> looking for the evil Mani Mani statue. That Lear X aggregate unearthed and on it. I'll see you at another time in another space. Why do you want that? Yeah, it's driving people crazy. Um. Right. Yeah, since that band needs to be bailed out. Hey, good job, the Akamura. All right, so I think I need to get rid of something. Um. Oh, man, I shouldn't have packed in so many items. Um. I'm going to go call Escargo Express and have him grab three of my croissants real quick. I kind of overdid it. Uh, luckily, the hotel has a free phone. This is something you wouldn't get nowadays because you wouldn't have to use landlines. Everyone has their own. Oh, damn it. Didn't mean to call you, Dad. Sorry. Yes, I know. Thank you. Great. Bye. Um... Uh, S Cargo Express. Yup, great. I know. Pick up. I always found it weird that Tracy always said that it was her. Like, every, it doesn't matter how deep in the game you go. She's always like, I'm Tracy. I'm your big little sister. I well, work here she's now. At, she's and at I'm that like, age. Yeah, but every flipping time. Yeah, she's six. <sighs> I like how it's Escargo Express because it's the snail mail. Right? Aww, uh, I'm so glad you're finding the game charming. <laughs> this game drips charm. Yes, it's... I love it. Alright, so now that we've done that, um, I'm going to grab the for sale sign because we're not going to be back in Tucson for a long time. I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. Please buy it. Okay. If you want to sell something, use the for sale sign. Customers will flock to you. Um, so here's a demonstration of it. Because I don't need the hamburger anymore. So you just keep on going. Only one character can come at you at once. So like if S Cargo Express or the pizza, mock pizza is on its way, you can't do it. Is this a tool shop or selling thing? What are you selling? I am selling my hamburger. The hamburger? I'd offer about $7 for that. Is that a deal? Yes. Thanks. I have to say it was worth my trouble to come out here. Okay, bye. Uh, they will show up in dungeons or anywhere else you happen to be. Wow. They'll just kind of appear. Hey, Lucky. Hey, you came with soul. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get a newer shows with this. Great, thanks. Uh, come with your girlfriend. We'll be waiting. That's inappropriate. Okay, let's go see a show, the Akamur. God damn it. <laughs> Press the girls. If you guys are let creeped me take out your photo. by this guy too, please let me know in the comments below. Because he's very novel at the beginning, but... After I'm the gonna go put this photo with all my other photos of little boys. After the fourth time, you start to get the creeps, and then after about the twentieth time, you're ready to murder them. Hello, my good sir. Check out this backstage pass. Here you go. Hurry, you're just in time to see the show. Yeah, they have a whole show, the Akamura. Oh, are you not gonna bring that girl with you? Oh, I am. Wait, what? What girl? There was a girl you bring with you who wants to get in to see them. Or am uh, I misremembering? Oh, I can't. 
I don't think. Can I? I don't think I can. Oh, everyone's just gone now. Oh. All right, fair enough. Um. Hi, please present your ticket. Okay, anyway, um, there's a whole show. So, I would have had you sing this, um, except it doesn't quite match the melody. And, oh yeah, you get some... Oh, no, wait, she's right there. Oh, yeah. You kids are bouncing around, talking to everyone, it's getting annoying. You're annoying. Yeah, it's her. Lucky of the Runaway 5 told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you? I could pose as your sister. Oh, wow. She's not even letting me not do so. Aw. Oh, I'm so excited. I may just wet myself. My heart is going pitter-patter. Wow. Yeah, that's usually how girls react to coming into my dressing room. By which I guess I mean my apartment. Hey, you get to see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want some more dough all the time. I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money, that's what I want. See, this is what I thought you would sing. I have the tune stuck in my head, but as I have said before, I will never sing on this channel because I am that tone deaf and that paranoid about how I, people would react to me. Um, but yes, those are the lyrics to their famous song. Money, it's what we ain't got except freedom. Freedom, freedom is what we've really sought. Yeah, I have the tune that I Damn. think it is in my head. Shabba doo wop, dilly dee da, shabba dee doo be bop wah. I got those debt blues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is I you. I had $10,000, could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. Wonder if our bus still runs, maybe rusted out. Oh yeah, in the old days, there were lots of dancers and acts of this theater, so now we're the only act playing here. We've even gone into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, the folks at Tucson will enjoy the Runaway 5 show for quite a few years, it looks to me. So, one of the cool little details here, again, it's one of those blink and you'll miss it situations. Get the fuck- Get out of my way! I'm gonna talk to Lucky. What did I just say? Alright. So you get near a dude, and then you use the bills, they'll react to your money. Well, hello, you got cash, and some nice stuff to boot. Yuck, yuck, yuck. They'll talk about, like, um, I'm not gonna do this for everybody, but, like, they'll, they'll, they'll see what you're trying to do. Don't try to use your play money here, kid. Oh my gosh, that's not real money, is it? Wow! Yeah, cool, huh? Um, like, they're the only ones who will react this way. Uh, it's not like using it on random people will make it happen. Here we go. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater Soul Men coming at ya. Rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five. And here they come. Oh, yeah, baby. So I would have had you sing this. Except I don't think you've heard this before. And there's not really a melody to... Oh, wait, maybe they don't sing here. I'm just gonna not talk throughout this. You all can enjoy the show with me. I swore there were lyrics on that, though. Huh. Maybe it's another song? Must be. Because they have three shows they do. Um, so, yeah. I, I, uh, I remember who I was going to have. You, all right, never mind. Anyway. So. I, I'm curious what the fans think of watching long plays like this, where there's a cut scene that we just don't want to talk through. Um, but, like, 
I don't know. I like the show. You know, it gives it's yeah. completely pointless, but it gives you a little breather in your adventure. All right. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> um. So I wanted to talk about this, another cool mechanic, a little subtle thing that uh, we have talked about um, that I'm sure you would notice. So if I show them, if I show him the money, excuse me, what's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. He wants you to do that behind the desk and you'll see why here in a second. I think it's a way to get the play, to force the player to get out of the way. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the Runaway Five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. God, I love this music. Oh, this means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle, a spectacle of myself, did I? The Runaway Five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I've got my money. So see, I think they force you to do that so you get out of the way of the desk so they can file in and speak to them like that. It's clever and subtle and cool, and I like yeah. it. Um... I'm gonna miss the Runaway Five when they finally leave, but that's life. Ah, she's super cute and sweet. All right, we are ready to get the hell out of here. Let's go to three. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghosts to bother us. Do you want a ride? So if you say no, um... Oh, the bus says Runaway. Oh, it does. It does say Runaway. Um, if you say yes, I should say it commits you to the next part of the game. So I'm going to say no for a second, because there is something I missed in the Tucson Hospital. Um, but I don't remember where the guy is who needs it. It's been a hot minute since I've played this part of the game. But there is something here I need. Uh, it's not there. I swear it's the Tucson Hospital. I think my memory works that good. Or not? Okay, it's not in the Tucson Hospital. Never mind. Well, shit. Okay, never mind. Guess we're ready to go then. It's not in that door up there? No, it's in one of the uh, upstairs patient rooms. That's just the doctor. Ah. Oh. Um. Yeah, it's weird. So the nurse handles um, unconscious uh, player characters. And then the doctor handles normal um, illnesses like the cold or paralysis, I think. <gasps> Excuse me. And then the healer handles weirder illnesses like the mushroom on your head and that kind of thing. Or being cursed. Like, again, it's just a little touch, you know what I mean? Yeah. It has nothing to do, like, they could have simplified that by making one doctor or whatever handle everything. But what is this dog doing? You're fantastic. You even take the time to talk to animals. Great. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, heading to Thraid. Oops. Getting on the bus. Okay, guys, here we go. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. Jesus. Yeah, they're, uh, and I assume what's going on is they're just blasting music the whole time. We just nearly hit a kid. That's probably fine. I'm not saying anything because I'm listening to the Akamura tap her fingers to the beat. It's really adorable. It's a good song. It is. This game is fucking brilliant. Why are there red lights at the front of the... Well, whatever. Alright, you'll see the little ghosties like... They want nothing to fucking do with this boss. <laughs> Aw, oh, they noped out. <laughs> uh, nope. Yep, they can't uh, stand happy music. Uh, nope. But now we're stuck because the ghost days are still there. So we will be stuck in three for a while. Oh yeah, 
yeah, this is going to have one of the most terrifying enemies you'll ever, you'd ever seen, too. Oh, great. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up the place with your own brand of sunshine. Hope to see you sometime. Look for us to be singing at the Sun Theater in Foreside. Okay, bye. Good God, it's worse than Happy Happy. <laughs> oh, this place is fucked up. You will... You're gonna love-hate what's about to happen in this place. The music is so pervasive, it's in the drugstore. Yep. And it's the creepy music. Oh, boy. Don't worry, uh, the Akamura, everything will be fine. That will do it for today, though. We'll explore three in tomorrow's episode, and the Akamura will scream when she sees the next enemy we're going to need to fight. Thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you again tomorrow for another episode. Bye.